This is anandamide, which is an endocannabinoid that all mammals create inside our bodies. Anandamide is often abbreviated AEA, which stands for arachidineal ethanol amide. This describes the chemical structure of anandamide. Anandamide is made up of three parts. The first part is this long fatty chain, which is an omega-6 fatty acid called arachidonic acid. Here at the end is two carbons attached to a hydroxyl group. This is an alcohol group, and it's actually the same alcohol that's in beer, wine, or spirits called ethanol. Last but not least is the amide group, which is this one nitrogen that's connected to a carbon double bonded to an oxygen. So together, this makes an andamide an arachidineal ethanol amide, or AEA. Anandamide is a partial agonist at CV1 receptors, which means that it doesn't activate the receptor to its full potential. If you think of it like a light dimmer switch, anandamide would turn the light on, but not all the way as bright as it could be, maybe only at about 50%. This is interesting because this is the same way that THC interacts with the CB1 receptor. Both THC and anandamide are partial agonists. The name anandamide comes from the Sanskrit word ananda, or bliss. This is fitting because the endocannabinoid anandamide plays an important role in many different types of pleasure. The runner's high has been associated with elevated levels of anandamide, and molecules very similar to anandamide are suspected to be the reasons why chocolate can make you so happy. Anandamide is necessary for a healthy brain and body, and some of the desirable effects of cannabis come from mimicking anandamide.